What's going on, Doc? Gang crabbing. Where are we? Um, we are in the lock in Darwin, waiting to go through. Just coming to the lock. I'm going to go out crabbing. Means has got a few hints and tips from a mate. Put the pots down and see how we go. Just waiting for the other boat. Hey, you testing out the collar? Yeah. Nice. Just getting my sense of balance. Give me a bit of a, an update on your views on the collar. People are asking, so. Well, best thing we've ever put on the dinghy. Just unbelievable. And everyone asks us about it. And um, hopefully lots of people are putting them on because they are just make your boat so safe. That's all we got to say about that. Someone else is there? No, it's an old one. Ah, there he is. Cage is brilliant. Yeah. Go mucking around. I know. Oh, that was lucky. Just tied a knot in itself. Throw it over. It's amazing how deep it is. <laughs> you can almost hook that one up yourself. 
Very shallow. Okay. With the tree above the... Yeah. Okay. How long do you make the lines? Long enough. <laughs> what? No rules then. Nah. Come on, you gotta, the only rule is you've got to have at least six mil line and it's not allowed to be camouflaged. Alright, that's why you bought the bright colour then. Yeah. Oh. Nice, somewhere up there. That was a good shot though. One more to go. Tell me about the bait basket. Oh, it just makes it easier. Easier to keep your bait. Yeah. Neat and tidy, isn't it? Yeah. Done. Now we wait. Five pots down. All we have to do now is wait. Go. We've been looking at buying another boat, seriously. But someone beat us to the post, so we didn't. It's right next door to us, right there, 65 feet long, it's absolutely beautiful. But we didn't get it. But anyway, the new owner arrived today and he's clearing out the cupboards and it was full of beer. And he'd come over here with lots of beer and he said, do you want some beer? I don't know why he didn't keep it, but anyway. This was on board. Now, it says Rainbow Sherbet Sour. Guilo Hangyang Do. Made in Hong Kong. So I thought I haven't done a um, beer review for a while. I don't really like doing them out of 
canned cans. Of course they're canned if they're cans, but I thought I'd give it a go because it looks so interesting. Here you go. I can smell it from here, Dom. Oh. I can smell the tropical. Oh. Down here. It's like I've just snorted a whole fruit punch. Whoa. Oh wow, that's sweet. That is. I said to Wendy, do you want this beer? And she said, no, you have it. And I said, well, it might be too sugary for me. So anyway, I'll give it a go. It's like most modern beers today. They're all just fruit punches. We went to a beer festival in Fremantle a few months ago and it was like going to a fruit punch convention. You know, beer with pineapple aftertones and mango infused beer and beer a la, you know, um, what's it called? Fruit salad. So yeah, we'll give it a go. You know when you're in the Kimberley and you just like you're heading from Halls Creek and you're going up and you're going, oh, I can't wait for that first bow of nut. And you finally, you get to a, a bow of tree and park under it and you're hunting for bow of nuts and there's none and you're disappointed and you drive another 50 k's and then the real bow of sort of country starts. And you get that bohab nut and you go, oh, can't wait to taste the sherbet and the sour and the tanginess of the, of the flesh inside. Well, I thought on the front it said sour sherbet on this, so I thought maybe it tastes a bit like a bohab nut. No, no, it doesn't taste like a bohab nut at all. It tastes like, you remember those, remember those, um, they're in a yellow tube. Shove it, dib dab. Oh, uh, what do we call that in England? But here they were, and they had a licorice stick out the top, and you could licorice had a hole, and you could suck the sherbet until you got too much breath in there, and all the sherbet clunked up, and then you had to use the licorice stick to sort of dig the sherbet out. I think they were called sherbets, funnily enough. Anyway, that's what this tastes like. It tastes like a sherbet. Boab nut, lemon cordial, fruit punch. It's seven <gasps> percent. I just saw on the top here without my glasses on. No, six percent. Yes, six ABV. Um, and the the. Their uh, catch cry is nostalgically redefining. Well, they bought the nostalgia out of me, didn't they, Wen? Yeah. Yeah, the There sherbets. you go, sherbet dip dabs. And it has redefined beer. So, yeah, they're right on the money. Anyway, two out of ten. Cheers. <laughs> Come back. It's the next day. Come back to check the pots. Just gotta find them. Found the first one. The second one. Huh. Little 
baby ones. Three baby ones. Oh, tiny. Very pretty. I've only found two out of five. So far. What's going on, Bill? Trying to find our nets. Found it. It was very camouflaged. Four tiny ones. Found another one. Stop there. <laughs> that one's even got our name on it. Yeah. Looks heavy. Oh, still got bait in it. Stinky. Very stinky. Yeah. Found it. Last one. Yay! something in there no. oh. oh well chicken curry for dinner then